And so now, we'll move on to another problem. We are actually interested in the shear strength dito sa beams natin. And so let's first label our figure. Itong AS consists of 528mm bars. So this is 528mm bars. And then AS prime is 428mm bars. Now the diameter of our ties is 10mm, which is this one. Ito yung ties natin. And then H1 is 120, H2 is 480, and then it's solve pa natin yung depth. But we are given the steel covering. So yung steel covering is from the center of this bar, ito, patungo dito. So this is 70, and so if this is 70, then we can solve D. Our D will be 480 plus 120 minus 70. And so that will be 530. And then this is mm. Now I have a video for this. And then let's just actually use this one. And so again, VU is equal to VVS plus VVC. And then by the way, to compute VS, we have this formula. AV times FYT multiplied by D divided by S. Now itong AV, ito yung resisting area ng shear. Or simply yung cross-sectional area ng ties natin. And so for number 1, sinabi dito na... If the shear reinforcement is 12mm diameter spaced at 130mm center to center, ano raw yung shear force natin provided by the shear reinforcement? Now itong question na to, it involves Vs. Kasi shear reinforcement lang kasi yung sinabi. Hindi shear reinforcement provided by the concrete and the stirrups. And so Vs will be, di ba, apat yung stirrups natin. That will resist our shear. Kasi paganto kasi yung shear natin. So apat na pi over 4. And then yung diameter daw is 12mm. Now medyo contradictory kasi sinabi dito na 10mm but dito merong ibang given. So let's just use this one. So times 12 squared times FYT. Itong FYT that's just equivalent to FYV. So we have 276 times D which is 530 divided by the spacing. Now our spacing is 130mm. And so solving VS we have 4 times pi over 4 times 12 squared times 276 times 530 divided by 130 and so we have 509,042.41 newtons and so let's divide that by 1000 we have 509 kn so vs is equal to 509 kn and so this is our answer now for the next one we are to compute the design shear force in kilonewtons now that will just be vu kasi diba Sinabi dito na design. So, phi, vs, plus vc. Now, our reduction factor for shear is 0.75. And then, our formula for vc is 0.17 lambda, which is usually 1. Kasi hindi naman sinabi dito kung ano yung concrete natin. And then, times square root of fc prime times b times d. So, our vc is 0.17 times 1 times square root of 34 multiplied by b, which is 350. And then multiplied by D, which is 530. So 530, we have VC equals 0.17 times square root of 34 times 350 times 530. We have 183.879. So let's divide that by 1000. We have 183.88. So VC equals 183.88. And then this is KN. And so to get the design shear force, we have VU is equal to phi multiplied by VS plus VC. So this will be 0 0.75 times 509 plus 183.88 which gives us 0 0.75 times 509 plus 183.88 that will be 519.66 so 519.66 this is kn and so that's why this is our answer and then for number 37 we have to compute the location from the left support where shear reinforcement is not needed if the beam has a simple span of 6m. Now as discussed previously, we will just use ratio and proportion for this triangle. Now we know that VU occurs at the distance D from the face of the support. And so for our ratio and proportion, we will use VU. So diba VU is to, diba this distance is L over 2. So VU is to L over 2 minus D. So L over 2 minus D. And then that's equal to phi VC over 2 over this distance wherein no stirrups are needed. So let's say this is x, and then we'll solve for x. Now diba, we know that VU is 519.66, and then our L is 6000 mm, kasi 6 meters yung span natin. So we have 6000 over 2 minus our D, which is, I mean, let's just use meters, and then let's just convert D. 
we have 6 over 2 minus 530 mm which is 0.53 meters so minus 0.53 is equal to phi which is 0.75 times vc which is 183.88 divided by 2 over x and so solving x we have 519.66 over 3 minus 0.53 is equal to 0.75 times 183.88 over 2 divided by x and so our x will be 0 0.3277 or let's say 0 0.328 so 0 0.328 meters now yung question is compute the location from the left support and so diba that distance will be l over 2 minus x so l over 2 is 3 meters and then minus 0.328 we have 2.67 and so this is our answer and so this is 2.672 meters now try to clarify if this is the answer. Kasi ito kasi yung nakuha ko. 